It is brutally hot and muggy in the garage, but I got a package in today that I thought you guys might want to take a look at. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Hopefully you're surviving the heat wave out there. It is not that hot, but it is, uh, the humidity has got to be 100%. I mean, it's getting ready to rain at any moment and the temperature is ever climbing up. I think we're around 80 right now, which means it's about 76 in the garage and I'm just dripping sweat. So I'm trying to get some cleaning done because as you can see, the garage is an absolute mess. But I did have a package come in today from Wilson Manifolds, and I wanted to open it up with you guys so you could take a look. This is our Brodix intake. It's a uh, 2018R rec port for our big block Nova, the Smoke Monster. I sent this off to Wilson Manifolds to have it uh, converted over for EFI. They put the bungs in, uh, build the rails, all that stuff. And I sent over a set of injectors with it, some Dechorch uh, injectors that we'll be running on the uh, Smoke Monster. And so I want to open it up and show you kind of what everything looks like uh, as far as that goes. So let me get this thing open and we'll take a closer look. Okay. Man, you can tell whenever somebody knows what they're doing. Uh, this just looks immaculate. And just the standoffs are so nice. They go through the rail and, and uh, lock nutted on the back side. And we'll look at down in the runners here in a second because they blended it in for the injectors. Not bad, not bad. Like hats off to Wilson on this kit because if you've been following anything on the Smoke Monster, you know that we're running the uh, Edelbrock ProFlow XT, which is really only good for about 500 cubic inches. Well, a 598, it runs out of airflow up top. It just can't move enough air. So this is uh, Brodix's biggest uh, intake manifold for the BB2 extra heads that we run on it. Uh, Whenever I talk to Brodix about it, they're like, listen, this, this intake manifold is too big. Like, it's, it's, you can't find it. You have to special order it. It's not listed anywhere. It says it's too big. You can't get a carb to idle on it. You know, it's just a pain. I said, well, that's not going to be a problem. We're, we're going fuel injected on here. And so we shouldn't have the issues where there's not enough carb signal on here for the idle circuits and stuff like that. So, uh, the only thing, and I'll have to double check, is we'll have to probably uh, drill and tap back here for a uh, manifold pressure port. I think I'd have to look at the other one. I can't remember if it's mounted directly on the manifold or not. Uh, also went ahead and ordered open sesame. Also went ahead and ordered the tapered combo spacer. Uh, we are running the Wilson throttle body, the 4500, which is uh, like 2.55 throats. So this is the same bore as that. So we're not going to have any airflow issues. This thing's going to suck all the air and then some. But let's take a closer look at the welding and all the port work on here. So Wilson you know, obviously they'll do porting on the manifold if you want to. I didn't have them port this manifold strictly because it's already so big. I uh, really don't think that it needs to be ported out for more airflow as this is, is going to be flowing more than anything, flowing more than the head, stuff like that. So, but look at the quality of this work. I really like as I said, I like how these uh, fuel rails mount down into that kind of like a C channel right there. So then if you get up here and look, you can see where they've gone ahead and blended 
into the intake runners help smooth it out make sure it stays consistent good job Wilson so just wanted to open this up share it with you guys let you have a look at what's getting ready to go down on the smoke monster gotta do the overdrive gotta do the intake manifold a couple other things on there to get it ready for race season next year so it's not a huge priority around here, but getting this thing set up was the next big step for the Smoke Monster. So keep your eyes peeled. We're gonna have some more videos on that very soon uh, and dive into why the Holly HP on it is such a piece of junk. So I'm still kicking around the idea of replacing it. I mean, now's the time to do it. If I'm going to do it, we're in the off season. I've got plenty of time to do the wiring and stuff like that. I've just not been happy with Holly stuff the last few items that I've used. So who knows? We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I want to thank you guys as always for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning.